My name is Noel Norwood. I own the Papa Lock franchises in West Texas. My name is Mirandy White. I'm the owner of Papa Lock in Johnson City, Tennessee. We first got involved with Papa Lock in 96, having no prior franchise operating experience. Prior to the Papa Lock business, I did not have any prior franchisee business. Frankly, I would attribute our success to the fact that we did exactly uh, what the uh, manual told us we should be doing to make this a successful operation. New Owner Training gave us the opportunity to get a comprehensive overview of what it was going to be like to run the business on a day-to-day -day basis. The support that we receive from the franchise operations, uh, I like to characterize as as much support as we want and as little support as we want. The initial training that the franchisees received, I believe, was great. You have the opportunity to see the technical side of the business as well as the professional side of the business. When I ask for help or when we need help or when we need the resources or the collateral that's provided by the franchise system, they're always there to deliver. The locksmith support that we receive is great. You have the ability to receive 24-7 technical support. Um, our locksmiths have used it numerous times to be able to provide the best customer service that they can. It enables you to have someone close to you um, that's not in your territory but can provide you know, whether it's emotional support, technical support, or business support. Um, everyone works together to help everyone else out. I believe that some of the major benefits in owning a pop -a lock is the freedom to run a business the way that, uh, uh, that the franchise system has laid out an incredible blueprint. And you follow that blueprint, but you still have the, the latitude to tweak that blueprint to the market conditions that you operate in. The benefits of owning a pop lock are your unlimited resources. You've got the training, you've got your locksmiths, you've got the family of another franchisee um, all working together to make sure that you're successful as well as them. When the company was founded, the pop lock name has been is so incredible. What an, an ingenious idea to come up with a name that is almost as generic as Kleenex is to facial tissue. It's an easy name to brand. It's very recognizable in the marketplace. And probably if you gave a person four or five uh, names of locksmith companies, the one that they would remember a week from now would be the name Papa Lock. Another benefit that, uh, uh, of the operation is the exclusivity, knowing that there's not anybody uh, breathing down your neck that's gonna come in and take it away from you. Exclusive territory in the business, I think it's extremely important. Uh, Papa Lock offers to where you're not competing with your own brand. We've got uh, uh, an operation that I believe actually intimidates the competition to the point that um, uh, that we've been able to dominate in the markets that we operate. We love the idea of having an absolute exclusive uh, territory to operate our business in, to execute our business plan. We love the idea of the fact that, matter of fact, having open six franchises, it became very predictable that we were able to turn cash positive in those markets within a year's time. It's given you the opportunity to create and pretty much set your own boundaries for what you're going to generate as revenue. One of the questions that we're commonly asked is how long does it take you to get profitable? And um, for us, uh, our experience um, was uh, for the six franchises that we opened up, it, we were cash positive in all six within a year's time. The revenue opportunities and cash flow for us with Pop Luck, we were able to turn into a positive cash flow within the first year of business. I don't believe we would have we would be where we are today, owning a mom and pop locksmithing shop. One of the reasons I feel that we're able to sustain revenues, even in the toughest of economic times, is that we're not exposed to discretionary um, spending. People are constantly getting locked out. They constantly need their house rekeyed. Whether it's a consumer that needs us because they want to rekey their home, or it's an investor that needs us because they repossessed a home. Either way, that house has to be rekeyed. The economy has not affected the way our business has gone. From 2009 to 2010, we increased at 40%, 25% of that being an increase in our locksmith services. We are very optimistic about where the future of Pop Lock is going with the locksmith industry. We're moving forward with technology. Um, it's an ever evolving economy and industry. In 15 years of owning and operating these franchises, I would certainly recommend doing it again. I would personally definitely do it again. It has been a very rewarding experience and it's been uh, successful beyond our original expectations. Yes, I would. It enabled me to have the family and professional life that I desired.
My advice to someone that would be interested in, in pursuing a franchise opportunity, and especially with Papillon, would be um, to evaluate the um, operation from the standpoint of what is it you know about business today. Certainly, uh, you bring something to the table in terms of the businesses that you've already been re uh, operating in, businesses you've already owned or businesses you've already worked with. And I, I thought it was kind of fun that I was able to put together my education, my knowledge, and the things that I learned in sales and marketing in 25 years uh, and I applied it and it was all applicable to the Popolock franchise system.